Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tron.com and today we're going to make this video because of a question from Don from Arizona regarding the Olus 3D RTS and what to do when you've lost it and this video then also answers the question what to do when you no longer want to use it so let's have a look so like I said the Olus 3D sensor RTS is a safety feature for your awning or for your screen. What it basically does is it detects when there's too much wind because um, the awning will vibrate and that will be picked up by the sensor. So what the motor does once it's been paired with the sensor is it will start looking for a signal that it can go out so that it can roll out. So that's basically safe to roll out the awning. When it doesn't find the sensor, it will retract again. So that's an issue when you've lost the sensor because you basically have to remove it from the memory, otherwise it will keep looking. Now because the sensor is lost, you cannot remove it. I'll link the procedure, I'll link to the video of the procedure uh, below because that shows you exactly how you can move the sensor. But when you no longer have it, there's no way to remove it on its own. That means you need to do a full reset. So if you've lost the sensor, um, the only option is a full reset. And that's a shame because it will mean that you have to reset the motor, but also you need to reprogram it again, which means setting the end limits, direction, etc., and pair it to a remote. So it's a bit more work, but that's the only option. Like I said, I also provide a link to that video where you can see how you can reset an RTS motor. So that's one option. The other option is if you don't want to use it anymore, but you still have it, then all you need to do is remove it, which basically is done via the prog button on the back of the sensor um, and you also use the remote that you uh, normally operate the awning with. So with the remote and the sensor you can remove it. If you no longer have a remote and just a sensor, that's another option, then the same thing goes as for when you've lost the sensor. Because you basically need to set the motor in programming mode and you cannot do that with the sensor itself. So you need a remote to help you with that. So if you've lost the remote and you only have the sensor, um, and you still want to remove it, then you also need to go to the um, reset procedure and then reprogram it again with a new remote. It all sounds like a lot, but it's really very simple. Either you do reset, which is a lot more work, um, and if you still have the sensor, you can, um, you can just do it via uh, removing it via the remote control. If it's still unclear and you follow the links and you're still unsure about how to do it or how to proceed, do let me know. You can send an email to info and you can also leave a comment below the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.